what's going on youtube it's barber jace and we are back with another video thank you so much for all the support and big up to the new subscribers in this video we're going to get creative let's go just to let you guys know these haircuts were filmed before lockdown soon to be back to business on the 12th of april so stay patient all my uk barbers Starting off with a number two, I'm just going to remove that weight and set it up nicely for when I'm putting in them sharp lines. I'm floating my clippers up nice and square, leaving a little bit of weight just below that disconnection. My client in the chair doesn't always tie it up, so that weight will allow them curls to sit on top. We've got my man Santos in the chair, we're going to get creative and we're going to put some lines and patterns in his hair. Big up man like Santos, my G. So a number two is still a bit long for me to put in line, so I'm just taking it down, tapering it out to like a 1.5. I don't really do many patterns or designs normally. I just normally throw in a pair of signature chopsticks, but sometimes I like to challenge myself and just switch it up a little bit. This year is about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. So let's push ourselves to become better. So starting off my pattern using my gold Babyliss FX's, I'm just going to put in a rough outline just to see how big the pattern is going to be. Then I can start to plan out what parts I need to touch up to make it look more 3D and to make the lines pop out a little bit more. This bit here I found the most difficult creating curved lines. Because the hair grows different directions it's hard to get a sharp curved line. You have to go over it different angles to make it look sharp. So now that the main shapes are in I'm going to start to make the lines look sharper and I'm going to add a few lines to make it look 3D. I flip my trimmers around to make sure that both the top and the bottom part of the line is sharp. You want to try and make them points as sharp as possible. There's two parts of a point, the hair that you're leaving and the hair that I'm actually cutting to create that point. This is when we start to make it look 3D. This line here gives the shape an extra dimension and gives it more depth. Following the shape from the original line, I've got a thin pointed shape here on the left and I'm connecting it into a squarer shape at the bottom there. The hair that I'm leaving is making the line pop out, giving it a three dimensional shape. On this corner, I'm gonna extend that line to make it look sharper and more pointed. Don't be scared to give your lines more thickness as it gives the lines more shape and more depth. At the top here, I'm creating another corner and another line, keeping it parallel with the one that I did at the bottom, keeping one side thicker and one side thinner. I didn't freestyle this pattern, I had a rough idea of what I was going to do. I've done something like this on Santos before and I kind of got inspiration from a barber on Instagram that I follow. I'll put his Instagram in the description below. I get inspired by a lot of barbers and a lot of work that I see and even you guys watching this video, everyone that's commented, liked, subscribed, you lot have truly inspired me, I've had a lot of good feedback, thank you so much guys. I never knew these videos would help so many people, I was just thinking let's just do this for fun during lockdown, I thought maybe it might help one or two people but the amount of feedback and positive messages that I've had, big up to you guys. This part here, I really struggled. I didn't know what to do to give it an extra edge. So I tried to make like a yin and yang kind of thing, which was all right. It could have been better, but always room for improvement. Right here, I'm putting in a placement line to taper out the back. 
So when I'm doing a pattern, there's three main parts. The main primary shape of the pattern, which is done. The extra lines to give it the 3D shape. And what we're doing now, fading out the parts to make it look darker and lighter. This is gonna give the shapes more depth and more contrast compared to the rest of the haircut. This haircut is less technical, it's more visual, so it's harder for me to explain exactly what I'm doing. So I'm sorry if this tutorial is not clear, but I'm trying to explain kind of what I'm going through when I'm doing the haircut. Because it's more visual, it's something that you're gonna train your eyes to see different shapes and different angles. And the more you do it, the better you will become. You're probably thinking, who's gonna let me practice a mad pattern like this on their head? The way I did it, I practiced on my mate who was bold. So he was gonna shave it off anyway. And I told him, I'll give you a free haircut or I'll shave your head bold for you for free if you let me practice patterns on it. And he was like, cool. So that is how I was able to practice patterns and designs. So big up to all my baldy friends. Man like Paulie's barber. So I'm just using the corner of my clippers to lighten up around the shape that I created to make it pop out a little bit more. Jeez, looking kind of naughty. Santos with his water break and big up man like Derek, the man behind the lens. I had no idea on how it was going to turn out, but at this point, I was pretty confident it was going to look good. Most of the difficult parts were done, so if I was going to mess up, I would have done it by now. So now I'm just going to taper out the sides by creating my zero placement line, pushing it up with the 0 0.5 and then using my one open to create another guideline and I'm just gonna fade down into the zero. This is kind of like a medium tape on the sides. Not too high, not too low, can't go wrong with a medium. Same on the other side, I'm gonna taper it out. I think I did a bit of guard skipping on this side. I thought, let me just switch it up. It's a little bit quicker. Make sure you check out my guard skipping fade tutorial on my previous video. Time to shape up the front hairline, spraying it down with a bit of hairspray and laying it down nice and flat. That should set me up for my shape up. Especially with curly and wavy hair, it's good to use a bit of hairspray to hold it down. Really tricky hairline to shape up. As you can see, there's a couple gaps in the middle. So I had to take the corners higher to balance it out with the middle. I hope you guys are staying positive, staying motivated and staying safe at home guys. I feel like this is a great time to invest in yourself as we've got a lot more spare time. Let's turn this negative into a positive. This year we're going to raise our game and invest in ourselves. Because nothing beats hard work and willpower. If you want to go do something, let's go get it man. This year's the year. Anyway, let's get back to the haircut. Finishing off the shape up, man like Santos in the chair with that fire trim, looking sharp, looking crispy, crispy duck, with that aromatic hairline. As you can see, when I'm doing a shape up, when I'm doing a line up, I'm stepping back, looking at it straight on, using my mirror, checking the balance. You need to check it with different angles to make sure it's nice and sharp. 
are now finishing off with some razor work. This is definitely going to take the pattern to the next level. I'm applying plenty of shave gel just to make sure the skin is nice and smooth for my blade to glide on. Just using my razor to touch up the bottom part of the line, tapping it very lightly. Santos' skin is very sensitive as you can see, I'm going very light with the pressure. Make sure you use your left thumb to stretch out the skin. I also keep a comb and some tissue in my hand to wipe and clean off any excess hair. I keep some shave gel at the back of my left hand as well, just in case if it gets a bit dry, I got it right there. I was being as gentle as I could with my razor, his skin was going really red, so I had to just make sure I use plenty of shave gel. like this I use the back of my blade as it's easier to control rather than using the tip of my blade. Using a little bit of hair fibers to fill in the middle part of his hairline. In the future I do want to get an air compressor just to switch up. I think it looks sick for like pictures and photo shoots and stuff. I know you American barbers out there love it so I might as well join the party. But that is it guys, the haircut is done, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the like button, it helps support the channel, helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. But stay fresh, stay faded, stay safe. It's your favourite Chinese boy, Barber Jays. Peace and love.